How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, we took technically about an hour and ten minutes last time to kick Shadar's butt by spamming the same stupid attack over and over again. We're just finishing up the game, right? Right? Eh, who am I kidding? No, we're not. Alright, let's go ahead and progress, though. Uh, let's see what's out of here. Oh, five, good. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. I do believe there's nothing to do right now, so I'm just gonna kind of push forward. Moving on to King Tom's Castle! Sometimes I question those voices. I really do. <laughs> Did I just run into the kitty? Oops. Okay. Climbing up. And go in. King Tom! It's been a long time, your Majesty. Yo? Hello. One here's congratulations are in order. You defeated you know who <clears throat> your old habits. You defeated Shadar, did you not? One always knew that you would, of course. One had absolute faith from the first. Okay, sure. But we couldn't have done it without you, your majesty. We couldn't even have got near him without that clarion. Yo, one's little creation came in handy, did it? Oh, very gratifying. I mean, yes, yeah, that's right. If the heads of the three kingdoms hadn't worked together, we would never have made it. Hmm, young Oliver, a hero. How oh, time flies. You seemed like such an ordinary boy. He kind of did at first, yeah. But you followed one's orders to the letter and bravely set out to defeat the Dark Jin. No, it seems like only yesterday. I didn't tell it. I mean... <laughs> you're 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 running drippy you're running drip drip you are running drippy dumb you know that and yes i mean in the medical sense like that kind of thing anyway do you think you might have misremembered things a little your majesty <laughs> why of course not but enough of our oneself Wanderer from another world, you and your companions have done well. You have saved our world. What will you claim as your reward? Riches? A lifetime supply of... Uh, what do Olivers like? <laughs> A lifetime supply of wands? <laughs> I can only imagine Oliver as an elderly person... You youngins don't know what it was like back then. Takes them into a room and there's just like this line of different wines. <laughs> Good point. I'm sure we can think of something. Any ideas, Oliver? I want... I want to go home. To Motorville. Yeah? Surely not. You've made up your mind, haven't you, Oliver? Hey. I suppose it is your home, after all. Well, yeah, but Alicia, I mean, your mom, she... It's okay. Maybe I couldn't save my mom. But meeting all of you, and coming to your world, and going on this adventure, it's made me stronger. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> but now I'm kind of lost. Traveling with all of you has been so much fun, and I've learned that there's nothing we can't do if we work together. But I started out on this journey because I thought I could save my mom, and now that's over. Oliver? So I have to go back to Motorville. I mean, if you must... No one's going to stop him anyway. <laughs> it's where me and my mom live together. 
And Miss Layla's there. And Phil. And Myrtle, too. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I should have spoken to you all about this. It's all right, Oliver. It's your life. It's your decision. He's right. You've really... You've really grown up, Oliver. Of course he has. He's had expert guidance. Ta oh, very much, I must say. It's not been easy at times, but... Ah, oh, for the love of... Stop it. Stop it, both of you. What a pair of big heads. <laughs> so does this mean... All this... The four of us... Talking together, laughing together. It, it's all over? No. You'll come back and see us, won't you, Oliver? Course he will. This is your home from home now, ain't it, Ollie boy? Of course it is. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> One has just had a marvelous idea. Would you care to hear it? Can't you see we're having a moment here, Mum? <sighs> Fine. Go on, then. What is it? We are having a grand celebration, are we not? Why don't we make young Oliver's departure part of the festivities? Huh? I couldn't... I think it's a wonderful idea. Please, Oliver, say you'll do it. Gee, I guess I, uh... Sure. Thank you, me your Majesty. Perfect. Then it is decided. You will have a hero's set off. Okay. All right. Well, let's do it. I don't think there's anything else to do around here, so we might as well just get to the festivities. Plus, I want a party. You have performed enough heroic deeds for one lifetime, Oliver. One takes it. You will now be returning to your own world. That was very choppy. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Very well. Then a magnificent farewell feast will be prepared. If you say so. So farewell. Yes. Thanks for everything, Romeo and the Speech. So it's the end of our dumb luck, is it? Yep. You made one heck of a sidekick, Holly. Hey! Hold on now, Drippy. I'm the hero, not you. Hey, come back and visit me. We'll go somewhere dangerous. For old times' sake. <laughs> Thank you. I know y'all love danger, but come on, man. Uh, but not too good. See you next time. I will <laughs> you be good, but not too good. You. Thank you. Farewell, Oliver. Bye bye. Huh? Aw, you just had to ruin it. Nothing, I promise. Pitiful fools. <laughs> I'm moving my computer slightly so I can actually control aspects. I wish I could control this lady. She's a butt. Uh oh. Um, we should probably get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here now. Uh. <laughs> okay. A zombie fish, a, a zombie zombie, a zombie horse, a zombie wolf. Let's get out. Oh, hi, Tom. Good kitty. You must come with me. Far, far away. That was way too close. That was way too close. Okay. Okay, just got a message as far as like working goes. Otherwise, I'd tell my phone to shut up, but this is kind of important. Although you, uh, who's talking? Uh, I don't know. Okay, distractions aside. Who's there? 
Shut up, I'm trying to nap. I just ran through a bunch of smoky ash shenanigans. Leave me alone. I'm an old man. I look like I'm a child, but I'm 2,000 years old. I want to be like Horace, so I call myself 2,000. Who knows who I'm talking about? Who's been following this entire series and knows exactly who I'm talking about? Horace, the kid. The kid you had. If anybody who hasn't played, he, he looks like a kid, but he's a ghost. He's been dead for who knows how long. Sage of Ages. Hundreds of thousands of years at this point. Anyway. Moving on. Leave me alone. Go check out my wand collection. Wow. If Oliver turns out that way, he's a gr He's like, he would be like that old man who's like, Get off my lawn! <laughs> I, can, I can only imagine a sweet kid like Oliver turning into something like that. Oh, it's P. It's me, P. Oliver, it's falling. The ash is falling again. I have to go back there. Huh? P? What do you mean, the ash is falling? Again? Wait, I get it. You mean the manor, huh? The manor? I said manor. I meant mana. That stuff from before, right, P? Are you here now? In this world? Are you here in Ding Dong Dell? P, wait. P, wait for me. P! <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Why are you shouting? Where am I? That would be the Iron Wyvern, I believe. You're flying. Wait, is this? It is, boy. You're back aboard the most formidable ship ever to sail the skies. I'm pretty sure it's the only one to sail the skies as of right now, dude. The Iron Wyvern. You're not going to see anything else flying around, are you? Unless I'm crazy. Oh, wait. I actually remember part of the story. There's more, but I don't know if they're really constantly airborne. Oliver, you're awake. Prince Markison, what are you doing here? It is quite a tale. Let me tell you all that has ha been happening. Let me take a wild guess. So it wasn't all a dream? No. What you just saw in Ding Dong Dell happened in all three kingdoms, if I remember correctly. Sadly not. The mana, it changed them. It changed everything. That's right, Mon. And if it hadn't been for the prince here, we'd have been changed into horrible beasties ourselves. Proper close it was. What? So everybody... Everybody in Ding Dong Dell is... By the time I arrived, it was already too late. Most of the people had already been transformed into those things. I was lucky even to be able to get you and your friends out of there. Gee. And it is not Ding Dong Dell alone. The three kingdoms have all been afflicted by the curse of the mana. Okay, and now the internet is fooling me. I'm getting upset at the internet. Blah! That stupid internet! You don't leave people alone. Those darn rascals who made the thing... <laughs> Oliver the old man. Just Im just imagine that. I, I can't get that off my mind now. And it is not Ding Dong Dill alone. The three kingdoms have all been afflicted by the curse of the mana. Ding Dong Dill, Alma Moon, and Hamelin. All have been de devastated. That's awful. Alma Moon too? Oh no. How could this happen? After all, we, and Mom, and Lucian, did to protect this world. Who the flip is doing this, Mom? And why? Well, that is not Esther. Well, whoever it is, they're stupidly powerful. That Ash wasn't the work of some two-bit villain. Ash? Of course. P. P knows something. P? Have you seen her? She was in my dream. She said... She said the ash is falling again. And you're sure she meant the mana? What else could it be? And she said something else. I have to go back there. What? 
Go back where? I don't know. But that's what she told me. Hmm. She visited you in your dreams. This is no coincidence. Let's go see her. Wait here, your majesty. We'll go find P and we'll ask her what she meant. Will you know? Then you must allow me to accompany you. Huh? You want to come with us? Don't you have subjects to be looking after, Emperor? <laughs> this is bigger than the Empire alone. If there is even a small chance that it will help save our world, I must do everything I can. You won't get any special treatment from us. Y you know that, don't you? Of course. Fine. As your em eminence wills it. Let's show this mana-spewing maniac the power of the great sages. Very well. Thank you, brother. All right. Let's go to Motorville and find P. Then kick her out of wherever she is because she doesn't belong in that town. That is my town and no one else is allowed. Just imagine the voice getting, like, raspier and raspier. You stupid piece of... Oh, gosh. That almost sounds like Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. Welcome to the dark side of the force. Uh, Oliver, wrong story. No, it's not. Yes, it is fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Motorville and find P. I leave affairs here in your capable hands, Captain Kablai. There are many refugees aboard. I pray that you will use your stout here, your stout heart to help them regain the courage to fight. Aye, I will. Leave them to me, lad. Huh? Why are these two being so chummy? Ain't it though? He pinched his map, didn't he? When did they kiss up, kiss and make up? Um, didn't he kind of deserve that though? Our world is in danger. We must put aside our petty squabbles. And the theft of the map, it was for my own sake. You kind of was. <laughs> that it was. You needed something to snap you out of your wretchedness. You are an emperor, not a moonstruck goatherd. Goatherd. Why did I say goatherd? Is that even a word? Hmm. I am better now. Heh. <laughs> Finally learning to stick up for yourself, are you? I had a fine teacher. Now, to Motorville. I entrust myself to your command, Oliver. You won't need to, because I ain't ever pulling you out. You're like at a level 48, if I remember correctly. I'm like at a level 54. 53? Something like that. It tells me when I load it. I wasn't even paying attention. 53. 53. Okay. Although, by the end of this video, it's going to be a lot more. So, let's go ahead and gateway our way over to Motorville. Because after this, I do plan on at least grinding for a little bit. And I'm going to showcase how much I end up doing it just because I feel like it might be necessary. I might get eight. Actually, knowing some of the achievements in this game, I might... The forbidden spell. And yet you used it. The death knell to this fallen world. Indeed. It rings out again. You'll see later. Bringing an end to this world was his duty, a task to which he was palpably unequal, and I will not even speak of his duplicity. To think he shared a soul with a baby. Huh. Oh, the duplicity that was. Yeah, and? The news of mankind has disappointed your radiance yet again. At the last, the dark djinn attempted to save this world. Yes, and? And? I will not be defied. You just were. All who defy our will shall perish. The mortal who shared a soul with Shadar. Wow. Should he too choose to defy our will, his reward shall be death, swift and certain. Mwah. My dream, 
P told me something. She said the ash is falling again. She must know something. We need to find her. Fair enough. Well, if you've got any ideas, let's go and fat out, shall we? Let's see if I can remember where she is. No, 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 I'm not looking. I meant to do this. There we go. I want to see if I can figure, remember. I think she's at Oliver's place. I think. If I can even remember how to get there. Right here. This is Oliver's home, right? No, there's nothing in the mail. Okay, let's go inside. Yeah, this is Oliver's home. Yep, there she is. There's the little Miss P. Oh, poor P. Why are you crying? Did I make you upset? Did I make you upset? Look, you were on my lawn. You have to get off my lawn or else. I don't freaking know anymore. <sighs> Oliver, you're not the emperor here. Hi, P. Old man Oliver. That's all that's going to be. Oh my gosh. That actually, that's kind of, in a sense, that's nostalgic for me. P, you're here. But not because of the game. <laughs> What's wrong, P? Eh? She's there, she? I still can't see her, man. Ask her about the, uh, this ash uh, stuff, will you? <laughs> P? Did something happen? Oliver? Oliver? It fell. What fell, P? It fell again. Yes, it fell. And now everyone's hearts have gone all bad. You mean over in the other world? It was my fault. Huh? No, don't say that. It's not your fault, P. How could it be up my back? Actually, I feel like that's something I'd IRL say at some point. Listen to me, P. It's not your fault. We're going to fix this. P, it was you who saved me, wasn't it? I heard your voice inside me. I've heard it so many times. It was you, wasn't it? Yes, I went to meet you. Thank you, P. I knew it was you. And that means there's no way it can be your fault. Oliver? I have to go, Oliver. I have to go back there. To the other world. Huh? You want to go to the other world? Okay, listen to me, P. It seems like there's some connection between you and the man. But you're a good girl, okay? You're a nice, kind person. This isn't your fault. I'll prove it to you. I promise. So come with me. Come with us to the other world. Okay. I'll come with you. Just don't get on my trail, otherwise I'll kick your shin. Whoa. Old man Oliver is an ass. <laughs> Not that we didn't know that already. Okay, let's go back. <sighs> as fun as this is. And because the last episode was pretty long, I am going to make this one a little bit shorter. Probably like 30 to 35 minutes, something like that. Oh crap! That's not good. This place should be beyond the reach of the manor. Can these poor people really be the ship's crew? They've been turned into monsters. <sighs> Time for some target practice. We can't. We can't fight these people. What? You'd rather let them tear us to pieces, would you? Leave it to P. <gasps> hey! P, look out! Please get better. Sanctify. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> I know that's I know that story progression, but that's adorable. Say goodbye. I wasn't far off of the voice either. They cured them just like that. Oh, now you do the dialogue talking. So this is Oliver's imaginary friend, eh? Young, what's her name? B, was it? 
I mean, I guess that's close enough. <laughs> bean, pea, a pea is a type of bean, so yeah, that can work. You mean pea? Yes, that. That's me, I'm P. That's me, I'm P. I guess I just have to do kind of a stronger accent, Why which is hard to do sometimes. Oh, goodness. No one wants to hear your rambling, Professor Drippy. And we can only see her when she's in the same world we're from, right? Wait a minute. Oh, gosh. Wouldn't that mean that we should have been able to see her when we went to Motorville? Oh, 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 I have to explain every little thing now, do I? I may be a fount of wisdom, but I got my limits, right? Yeah, even he doesn't know the answer. I do. You have to be from the world that she's in to see her. Quite. And technically, Ollie's from both, so. Destroyed the crystal. Clearly, she possesses the power to purify mana. The spell she used. I have never seen its like. It was miraculous. Miraculous? No, it was sanctified. Oh my gosh. Do not lecture me. I know how things go. You are not to lecture me. Got it? Sand is fine. Jeez. <laughs> so P could return those poor people in Ding Dong Dell to their old selves. Yeah? Yeah, that's a pretty good app. Hello? Huh? Oh crap, I think I skipped. Dang it, oh well. Hello? Hi! You were the one who sent us back to the past. Yes. You may call me Gallus. I am a member of the council that determines the fate of this world. The fate of ours. Me not likey. Would a busy fellow like you want with the likes of us? I came to thank you. Your power awoke the child. The child? Oh, you mean he? I do. Through her, you now possess the power required to purify this world. Sanctify. Sanctify. Yeah. You mean P's magic can save the whole world? Indeed it can. When you combine your power with hers. Doodle do! Aww. That's adorable. Doodle do! Zodiacs? I don't understand. It seems some aspects of our world remain hidden even to us. Never mind all that. Did you hear what he said? I sure did. P's magic can save the world. She can cure all the people who are sick. But the three kingdoms are rife with horrors. We cannot send her into the, their midst. She is only a child. I am not a child. Hang on a minute, Your Holiness. Have you seen who you're traveling with? This lot aren't, this lot aren't exactly grown-ups. We can protect Pete. Please, Your Majesty. You have to trust us. And her. She's one of us now. She's our friend. Hee <laughs> hee. Best friends. You wish me to place my faith in her. As a friend and ally... Since I have little choice. Heh, <laughs> alright. Little Miss Wizard, it looks like we're counting on you. P, let's save the world. Together. Actually, I think in sign language that's exactly what this means. Hooray! Okay, then.
It is even worse than I had imagined. The town has been completely overrun by these... things. It's terrible. Who could have... who could do this to these poor people? And there uh, we were thinking the odd broken heart and a nightmare or two were the end of the world. But we have P on our side. We can bring them back. We can bring them back. Uh, all, we can bring them all back. Yes, we can. We say goodbye. Indeed, the spell destroyed the black crystal. And judging by what followed, it would seem that was the source of the mana. Question. The person who did that, how did they implement the crystals in all the kingdoms? Without being noticed. Yama. I reckon there's probably another one round by her somewhere, ain't it? Let's see what we can find, shall we? Um... Where do you reckon this crystal... Where do you reckon this crystal's gonna be? Then, Ali boy. It looks like we'll have a fight on your, our hands if we try and head further into town. But, but, but Mr. Drippy... We can't fight the people of Ding Dong Dell. I know that, man. But we don't have much choice, is it? You'll just have to do. You'll just have to, I don't know, knock them out gently or something. Leave no lasting damage like. As long as they're still breathing, peace spell should turn them back into normal. Yeah, I guess you're right. Those darn rascals have gone on my lawn long enough and I'm going to kick their asses for it. Holy boy. And my phone just went off because PlayStation sent me a notification. Shut up, phone. I guess you're right. The crew of the Iron Wyvern were okay in the end, huh? We just need to remember that Ding Dong Dell here got a proper bucket full of that horrible ash stuff emptied on it. Hang around for too long, and we'll end up like these other wretches. P or no P? Gee, I hadn't thought of that. Then we have to find that black crystal quickly. Right. Now I heard the ash fell on Al Mamoon and Hamelin as well. I reckon we should probably head straight there once we've finished over by her. What do you reckon, Ollie boy? Good idea, Mr. Drippy. We have, we have to save those people. Yeah, we do, but first, I'm going to leave and go take care of some grinding, because honestly, I'm getting... What the hell? I forgot how large the opening between leaving that place and the actual open world is. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and take care of some grinding, but I'll be back in just a moment. I don't know. <laughs> you, th you think 13 levels is enough grinding? <laughs> Uh, uh, actually, the level we're at right now, the last time I beat the game, just purebred beat the game, that's a higher level than when I beat the game on my own time the last time I did. So I know for a fact that I'll be able to do it now. Not that I didn't have doubt beforehand. Anyway, well, with that done, um, I know I can't save in there. As I said, I was going to leave this, le uh, this episode a little bit shorter just because the last one was so long. So, I'm going to leave this episode here, and we'll head into Ding Dong Dell at the beginning of the next episode. And we'll hopefully take care of the Three Kingdoms then. In the meantime, though, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a game by Bandai Namco or Level 5 that you'd like to see on this channel. Let me know in the comments below. I have one that I've kind of went through. I stopped just because A, it wasn't going anywhere in my opinion, and B, I got kind of bored. <laughs> but if you do want to check out how much I actually did do, click the link at the bottom right-hand corner and uh, turn to that destination. Missed any of the many of the stops on this ride that you want to check out, click the link across my right here and turn to you there. Old man Oliver gets to go take a nap, otherwise something bad's gonna happen. Excuse my, excuse me. But in the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!